Hey everybody, I am here to do a Shein haul. My name is Tanya. Um, I love, I am a Shein addict all of a sudden, unfortunately. I've been um, ordering quite a bit from Shein. It's almost like a little addiction. So normally I... I order from Amazon like crazy. So, you know, with these prices that Shein has, you can't beat it. So, I just got my package, and I'm so excited. It's a medium-sized box. And the great thing about Shein, most of the stuff that I purchased, well, all of the stuff I've purchased prior to has been free uh, delivery. Free delivery. And not only that, but... They ship your things out relatively fast. So I normally get my items within seven days, like six or five days, actually. This week it came. So normally they'll give you a delivery date, which is probably seven days out. But in the in the previous orders, I've received my items before the actual uh, anticipated delivery date. They usually bring it a day or two before. That's a plus. This particular week, um, it came on the day it stated it would be shipped out, which is the 15th, because January the 15th. And I know it's due to the se severe weather that um, most states just had, uh, Midwestern states. And we just had like a snowstorm. So not a big one, but enough because we didn't have any snow. Uh, so far, this winter at all, probably just a little bit here and there, but like this was the biggest thus far. And now we're stuck with just really cold uh, weather. I'm in, I'm located in Illinois, right side, right uh, in the south suburb of Chicago, outside of Chicago, should I say. So, um, yeah, we had the little snow issue and now. It's hard, nice and hard, and it's, it's cold, okay? We're going to get right into it. So, this is one of my smaller orders. Uh, normally, you know, if I order like four or five pairs of shoes, I have bad feet. I'm older, so I have some issues with my muscles and my feet. So, I can't wear all type of shoes. Like, mm -mm. Um, they don't work for my feet. And I've been ordering shoes from Shein now for a few months. And I will say, even though their shoes are, like, really inexpensive, we ain't going to say cheap, but really inexpensive, um, they're comfortable on my feet. And even if they weren't, I can put my insoles inside. So, yes. And they have all different styles of shoes. They have all different, like, if you looking for a specific color that you can't find in the store, I suggest you go check out Shein. They got every color. Okay. So, I've always purchased a lot of clothes and never have shoes to match my clothes because my feet so bad and the stores don't have, like, literally what I'm looking for. So, I struggle when I start ordering shoes from Shein. So, these are just some, they're not canvas material. They're like leather look. Um, so, they are considered, what, vinyl. They're really cute. All white. Everything white except for the bottom. You see that it's like that um cognac color, taupe color. These are these are really nice. Size eight. Um, and the cost for these shoes, and see, I don't mind bad shoes like these because I'm not really a big gym shoe person. But if I want to wear some comfortable shoes like these, they they were only $18. 1880 to be exact. I'm not spending, I'm not blowing the bank on these shoes. If And truth be told, I'm very pigeon toe. So my feet, you know, I walk one foot twisted in more than the other. So I'm always scuffing up one shoe. More like one shoe looks more worn than the other because of the way that I walk. So it's the inevitable. I won't be you know, been out of shape if I ruin these shoes because they were only $18.80. I can always just buy another pair. 
It's not like I'm spending $200 or $150 on a pair of gym shoes that I got to go buy all of these cleaning supplies and scrub the shoe. Like, who doing all that? Yeah, not me. So, yep, those shoes. Next up is an orange hoodie. Well, it's not a hoodie. It's a sweatshirt. See, I'm, I'm older, so I don't even use the correct terms for stuff like this. But, of course, we all want to be cute and comfortable. It's a bright orange. It's almost a neon orange. It's so bright. And it's got the Chicago right across the chest. USA. I am born and raised in Chicago. I am currently, you know, I currently live in the south suburb of Illinois. But I'm born and bred, I'm going to say, from Chi-Town. For life. I'm going to rep my city for life. And I actually bought these this sweatshirt to see if it matches these orange pants i bought from she and previous to so this is the orange i hope the color is coming in correctly um so it's, it's a little it's a like a an actual fruit color orange this one is a little more um neonish and it does have a little bit of red so it's a little darker than this um but you know what we will see when I put them on how they, you know how they come off together. But yeah, this is a sweatshirt. I bought it in the extra large, um, just in case it shrinks. I just don't want stuff to be all tight and uncomfortable on me. Of course, it's yep, it's a long sleeve sweatshirt. And this sweatshirt, the Chicago sweatshirt, I believe it came in multiple colors, and it was eight twenty five. Not bad at all, right? Eight twenty five for this Chicago sweatshirt. It also came in other colors. So let's see. Let's see what we have here. You in the browser? Come on. It also and 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 then guess what? It's no longer even. It sold out in this orange. I'm glad I bought it when I bought it. So they got a. Uh, they got the baby pink. They have, what color is this? Gray. That's a nice gray. The gray is not bad. So, yep. I'm good with this one. Um, with the color that I have, though. So, okay. Moving on along. So, no, it didn't match the pants as I thought it would. Of course, you can't really tell from the picture online what the actual color will 100% be like. Till you get it, but I'm I'm pleased with the color anyway. Matter of fact, does that match? Well, nope. Okay, so these this is um, a curtain tie back, a curtain pull back hard. It's curtain pull back hardware with the bling on the front and it's gold. I ordered two of them and I paid six forty for the two, so that means it, they were three dollars and twenty cents each. And the description fits on, it's a Fox Diamond Decor Curtain Tie Back. It only comes one per um, package, so you have to order two, of course, because you don't have, unless you just want one, but yeah. And that's what they look like online. And so, they have a look, uh, little pullbacks here in the middle and then my living room curtains are pretty thick so ho hopefully these are able to hold them really good really well i am a bling fan but if anybody comes to my house they wouldn't be able to tell because like i don't want it i just like a subtle amount of bling i don't want it overstated like i like a collect i like my aesthetic is kind of like I like a little bit of everything, but I I certainly love bling. Now, you can tell by my jewelry, some shoes, and other things, my art that I create, but not, I know I don't have a lot of bling in my house, but these will make my cute, my curtains look so good. I do love these. Okay, moving on along. I got to pick up the seat. So, I like that Shein has these amazing packages they put your things in. 
because you can reuse these for whatever you want to reuse them for. Um, wigs. I don't have too many. Uh, or not even wigs. I don't know. Uh, you want to keep your shoes nice and clean and dust free. Zip them up in those. Okay. And this is a large um, rubber thingamajig for the sink. So I got this big old monstrosity over the over the sink um, dish rack holder, and it drips water down. And it's a marble countertop. It drips water down directly on the back of the sink on the marble. So now I'll have this in place, and it'll drip down on this. And then this is the little spout uh, thingy, so the water will run will drain directly off of these into the back into the sink so um and what i pay and this is a large size because my sink is pretty long it was only four dollars and ninety cents it's called fashionable simple style hand wash basin drain net a basin drain net um and it gives you of course a, a photograph of how it works around the sink area so yeah and then those little spots the water pours right out again that this piece was four dollars and ninety cents so yep i needed this for the kitchen okay what else we got in here Okay, so I'm so mad they had these yellow shoes that I wanted to go with this sweater. They were the perfect pair of shoes. They were yellow pointy toe flats because I'm a flat or like a kitten heel type of girl. Um, and on the front, they had all of this, um, these pearls on the top. And I was going to wear this with a white so this is a yellow sweater that i bought i love it it's got a little poof to the to the sleeve area it's a nice crew neck collar um a little fitted um sweater and i was gonna put a nice button up on underneath it like a longer button up over a really nice pair of light color jeans look at the sleeve here I love this sweater. It's got the little braided uh, style going down the middle. Ooh, I love this sweater. I can't wait. And I got this in a size. It's crazy that she ain't really don't be having no, the, the, you know, the little tag in the back. But they got one on the side. I got it in a large. So it looks pretty. Like I'm going to have some room up in here. I'm, I'm glad. But I'm mad that these shoes sold out because they I was going to do the white collar shirt underneath and then having it hang out at the bottom. And I was going to drape uh, multiple length pearl necklaces, pearl and gold strand necklaces down the front, like real chunky style because that's what was on the shoes. So I feel like I just need to probably buy some pointy yellow shoes and... I have a ton of pearls because I sell jewelry. I can break some of those up and put them directly on my shoe myself. But anywho, this sweater was $13.95. It's called Prevere Cable Knit Lantern Sleeve Sweater. The sweater is really nice. I'm glad. I had it in my cart for so long. It comes in black and it also comes in green that's that sweater look at the shoulders almost on her it looks like she has some shoulder pads up in there but it might just be her shoulders honey ain't no pads up in here but that might be a good oh well nope i guess because they got the material kind of double stitched up there i guess to make it a little humpier up there but it do look like I could probably put some shoulder pads in there to get it to look like that. Yeah, that's really cute. And then it's also, like I said, it's in green too. 
It's not a green green. It's like a teal green. That's cute. And a black one. I may have to order the black one. That black is fine. Yeah, now that I know how much... Like this... Yeah, I'm, I'm pleasantly pleased. So, I might be ordering the black one. And the black one is nine seventy one. They got a special on it right now. Okay? So, come on off of that. But yeah, I bought them to go with these shoes... And they sold out of the shoes, y'all. I'm so upset. I'm going to show you what they look like. Maybe I can find them at... Maybe I can find them someplace else. That's what I need to be trying to do. So, let's see. Because, you know, some things they sell out of, they replenish. Well, then they also have those same shoes in clear... They had them in clear, and they have them in, um, so here are the shoes that I wanted. And I was going to, man, drape it up with the, with the, with the pearl necklace, with the stranded, uh, pearl necklace, necklaces, because it's going to be multiple necklaces all uh, looped together. So they still have those shoes left in beige and well, other colors. But the beige ones are not, I could buy the beige ones, but I can't spray paint them. No, they like a lace. Mm -mm, I don't even want that. Uh, then they had this other one. These are clear. So, oh, with the gold tip though. Hmm, I might go, I might go for those though. Matter of fact. And the uh, the back is so it's almost like a mule. You just got the strap across the back. I would prefer a, a whole entire shoe. Now these go well if I get the black sweater. So I'm telling y'all. Shein has a really nice shoe selection. So, I'm always impressed. So, that sweater is, so far, my favorite coming out of this bag. Okay, here's another sweater. This is a multi-color sweater. Mm -mm, it's not hitting the way I want it to hit. These colors, mm, it's cute, though. But these are not. So, again, well, you know what? I bought it, and it works. It does work. I won't say it doesn't. It does work. I bought it to also go with these orange pants. Because I can't find orange in the stores that match that. Okay, so it's a it's a it's like a short cardigan. It's no it's no zippers, buttons, or any closures. It's just and it's got purple, orange, yellow, and turquoise in there. And now on this on here, it looks like these colors are very vibrant. But in person, these colors are kind of dull. Yeah. And they pack their clothes so well. I don't know why everything you pull out be so wrinkled when it comes from shit. Oh, it's a lot of static electricity. It's popping. I bought this in a size large, long sleeve. It's not a crop, but it's it's a waist length. So it's short. I mean, it, but it won't be a crop. Um, with the little opening, and this sweater is called. Let's see what she is. This sweater is called. It's cute on the picture. I probably ordered the wrong color though. It's called the Essence Space Dye Drop Shoulder Duster Cardigan. And the price that I paid for this is sixteen seventy nine. So this is the most expensive thing. Well, it's not more expensive than the shoes, but it's well, the shoes are always more. But like so far, it's the most expensive um, article of clothing I purchased so far. But the one on the picture, I'm not. I don't know, I feel a little deceived. The colors look like they're different. So look, on the picture, this thing looks so vibrant. 
look at that and well but it's literally not um but it's still a pretty sweater i won't say it's not i can't wait to see what it looks look like on um i should probably do a try on haul now i paid what did i say i paid for it sixteen dollars they have it now for ten dollars and eighty six cents they done marked down everything since i uh bought <laughs> since i made a purchase and they also have this in multiple colors um but the one that i bought i guess that's this one yeah the part the colors are much brighter it feels dull looking at it in person like but it's still really nice okay move on along can't wait to try on these things so it's always a mixture of a, a little few little pieces for the house and then pieces for me to wear no pants actually i didn't purchase any bottoms so. okay so this I was like, what is this? This is a thing of this is a purse, a handbag hanging thing. So, so it's relatively long. This is a hook. And it has two sides with pockets on both sides. So it's I think it's a total one. Two, three, four, four. So it's eight compartments for handbags. And they go in like that. You stick them in the side here. Um, and I'm using the word that I hate the most, the um. Ooh, I have to stop using that so much. And so this is was $7.30. And it is called the Black Wardrobe Hanging Handbag Storage Organizer with multiple layers layers pockets for wall mounted home dust proof storage rack that's a more than a mouthful it's like good good god that was a lot that i had to say so let's see available okay so i'm gonna give y'all a, a picture of okay so that's what it looks like you're hanging it um looks like they have some pretty large handbags in there too and she has compiled, what did I say, four? Yeah, so eight. Eight handbags. I have, of course, I have way more than eight, but I have handbags in other areas, and I kind of wanted to just put the ones that I use probably more often than any in uh, these. So they're very accessible for me. $7.30, not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay. These, let me see what they done. So, mm, well, this don't look anything like the picture. Okay. So, I purchased two packs of these. I think they came as, or no, or did I purchase them individually? Okay, yeah, so they came in packages of three. So I had a total of six. They're called self-adhesive self wall-mounted mop holders with multiple hooks for storage. So they hold, and I paid $3.58 total for all six, which is amazing. So they're $1.90 for three that's what they look like so for you to hold your broom your dustpan your mop i mean your mop your broom your swiffer whatever um it kind of slides in so it there's some adhesive on the back of this thing i'm guessing and then It's clip in the center. 
and you start from the top, I guess, and slide the pole in. And it locks it and holds it in place. In order to get it out, I guess you pull it, you pull it on up and out. And that's that adhesive, I guess, right there. Yep. So I ordered six separately because, you know, a lot of places have it where. Oh, shoot. They got. They got some. They got all different styles. Here's some other ones. Whoa. With the metal on the back of it. Metal backing. Those are 150. You probably pay. Yeah, you get one each for that cost. But they look big. They look. They well, it might be a little bit sturdier. So normally when you purchase these, you get a strip. You know, they're all is maybe like three or four on one. Well, I don't really have the space in my front room closet for a whole strip. So this way I'll be able to place these wherever I need them to be. So, yeah, I did, did I need six? Yeah, I can put three on each side. Um, that's why I got so many. I don't know what this is. What is this? Uh oh, I don't. You know how you order so much stuff and you, you forget what you ordered. This better not be that thing for my car, girl. It is so thin, but okay, whatever. So this is the windshield cover. Supposedly, you put this directly on the the windshield outside of your windshield to keep the snow and the ice and frost from building. Well, not frost, but snow and ice from building up on your windshield. They got these little suction situation ships going right here. And that one look like it's bent up. I hope it, this thing is so thin. I thought it was thick. Like, um, I can't be disappointed because you get what you pay for it. And I didn't pay but $4 for it. So it's called the, one piece car windshield cover for winter snow and sunshade umbrella for summer. You see it? They folded it halfway off. That's crazy. It sure does look a lot thicker though. On the of course on the photograph. But for four dollars, what do what do I expect? Okay. Silver one side, black the other. Silver is the part that go on the inside, I guess. Or the outside. Let me see. No, look like the outside. Silver on the outside. And then that little hook there, suction hook. That thing probably going to slide right off. This little fold dollar thing probably going to slide right off my car. Oh, look like it worked for their car, though. But for some reason, them, their windshield wiper still... Well, it's not long enough. It's not big enough to cover up with the windshield wipers. Because those be the problem, right? The windshield wipers be the problem. $4. That's what the cost of this is. Um, everybody swear bad in the, in the reviews. So, yep, $4. I don't want to lose... <clears throat> Use these little two suction hooks. Because guess what? Today, it's going on that car. Because when I get through running errands, I will be putting it on my car. And we're going to find out if it works or not, right? Because I'm going to clean my car up real good before I leave out. Okay, so I purchased some green shoes. I didn't buy any green clothes this time. Because the sweater vest that I wanted sold out. They're moccasin style, green, they're a little twisty. They're like loafers, just real simple, slip-on, leather-look loafers. They got these in the back. I don't know what that's all about. Got them on the bottom, keep you from sliding and falling and busting your head, I guess. Um, they're a little narrow, though, so I hope it works for me, right? Size 8. 
let's see what I pay for these shoes. And the cost of these uh, were nineteen sixty. So yeah, this was a to, to for me. This was a little pricey, but they look they look really good though. They're not like you don't see a ton of imperfections with them because they're making these items real quick. They're rolling them out real fast, but they look good. Um, they're called Green Ballet Flats with uh, solid color. Stitch detailing and butterfly de decoration on the vamp. Butterfly, that's this thing. I guess that's a vamp, huh? Take it easy. But yeah, um, they come in gray. They come in um, blush pink. They come in white. They look like nurse shoes, though. And they come in gray. Your gray ones is cool. 1960 is what I paid for them. So, let's see. I got something green right here. I bought a green shirt from Burlington. I love you. And with the bling, y'all did hear me say I love bling, right? Just a little folded uh, cuff sleeve in there. Short sleeve. Take it in. Let's see. Same green. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Not really like matching this well it's a casual top casual shoe so yeah it works hey for now it works uh, yeah it's definitely gonna work because i'm not purchasing no other green shoe <laughs> so and then the thing about shein shoes they give you a nice box for most of them not all of them i see the sneakers come in bags but like the other style of shoes come in the little nice white boxes and they have little shoe bags for each shoe they have the little stretches in the inside and a styrofoam to keep the shape of the shoe in there you know up for a while so when i put these on my little shoe rack i actually leave them i take the bag take them out of the bags and i kind of put the bags underneath the shoe so if they get dusty or dirty i then i put them in there but for display purposes because my closet is um color coordinated I leave the shoes exposed so you can see the colors of the shoes. Now, let's go with something I already got out. Last but not least, I have, uh-oh. Ooh, that shot that's tight. But what is this on my shoe? Baby. Okay. So, I ordered a sweat, another sweatshirt. I'm all excited. Take it. Okay. He it's white. He got a little stain on the sleeve. Ain't this that a blimp? How dare them? Okay, whatever. One little mark. I ain't gonna it's all right. But it is white, white. It's not cream, it's white, white. In the picture, it did look white. I ain't even gonna lie. This is my black history month. Um, sweatshirt. Look at her. She's cute. Look at all the shades of brown to represent that melanin. I have some brown lipstick I will be wearing when I get, I got a little curly, like, brown, blonde, auburn uh, crochet wig that I was making. It's going to go perfectly with this shirt. And these shoes is what I bought to go with this shirt. So... I'm on, I'm a little bothered because, but I'm, no, it's okay. The shoe itself is not white, white, like the sweatshirt. It's more of a off-white, a ivory cream. But the shoe itself is fat, right? Look at that shoe. It's got all the shades in here. Actually, they're a little off. So these are probably more like auburn, peachy. These are brown. Guess what? They're going to go perfectly. They're going to work well together. I love this shoe probably more than I do this shirt, though. Just because. I don't know what. Now, what color is What is this? They didn't do a, a good job with this. This is like little light spots up in there. 
like a little dirt spot right there. But maybe I'll spray some Scotch Guard on it. Cause it's some this is like a suede material. This cognac color. The brown chocolate is like leather. And then the um taupe is more it's not gray as taupe. It's like a suede also. So yeah, this shoe may have to be sprayed and then the, the bottom. I love the bottom, the color. But I don't know what this is doing. Um I don't like that. So let's go over prices. Let's talk pricing. So for the sweatshirt, um, for the sweatshirt I paid, this glass was never want to say, only $6.25. $6.25, you got that. And the shoes. This was, this was the, kahuna the big kahuna these shoes were 26 dollars and 51 cents but i'm not mad about it because i really like them and i feel like i can do i can wear a lot of different things neutral color things with it those are the shoes displayed on the picture right those are really cute and they're still the same price they're not on sale i mean they're not any lower but they're nice the sweatshirt again. I said it was six. What I say, six twenty-five. Called Slay Regular Fit Abstract Pattern Casual Sweatshirt. Oh, and the bottom. Oh, uh, the the bottom says. Say what now? <laughs> uh uh. So the bottom says AIDS. A-D-E-S of, you know what, I'm mad at them. Because I'm sure, so I didn't order this with these words on here that's not even complete. She and y'all need y'all butt beat. It's supposed to say shades of beauty. Uh, where is my S, you owe me, and my Y, you owe me on beauty. Like, stop playing with me. How y'all gonna roll, and then that's my fault too, because they say reading is fundamental, right? Looking at, if I go online and I pull a picture up, let's see what this picture shows me. I was so caught up on the actual image, I did not read the words. And the words on there clearly say, AIDS of view. Yeah, because it looked like the T started and then it stopped. No S for shades. So, shame on me. I can't even blame. <laughs> I can't even blame um, Shein. Well, they need their butt whip for selling it like this, first of all. But I need my butt whip for not reading. Because they say reading is fundamental. And I literally was never paid attention to that. I've been stuck on this whole image and those colors in that... Um, on the picture and my behind did not read that's too funny that's crazy not that's crazy no one day ain't no reviews on here but guess what guess who gonna do a review oh somebody did do one review and they did they said they just reviewed it on the 10th so i didn't see that because i think i ordered before the 10th I like the fit. I should have paid more attention to the words. It says Aids of Beau instead of Shades of Beauty. Ah! Oh, these pants she ordered is hitting. I'm going to get them pants, y'all. I'm about to be a copycat. That's cute, though. I like, I love me some wide bottoms. But the young lady said it. Um, That's funny as ever. So... Yeah, I got it. And now I'm going to be walking around with AIDS abuse. Somebody decided to read. They're going to be saying, what is that? And I'm going to be like, mind your business. <laughs> my fault. My bad. But I still like it. And I'm going to still wear it. Matter of fact, I need to pull out my Cricut and see if I can put an S on here. And a T and a Y. Because this just is crazy. Or 
Matter of fact, I need to see if I can take off. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just remove the letters all together. They cute. I like the, the font. And I would have to figure out what the font is. But I'm sure I can snap. I can pull these out. And that's what it's going to be. No worries on the bottom. It would have been really cute had the words been complete. Because the font is nice, right? It matches the abstract design around her hair or whatever. It just, it go, it flows very well. But again, I can't be walking around with incomplete quotes on my, on my body and people trying to read it. Talking about, what is that? Like, it ain't for you. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. But anywho, that's all. That's my haul. I am going to try on some of these items. I'm going to try to come on more often because I do have a lot of stuff. I've had this YouTube page forever. Forever. And never posted not one video on it. So, hey world, I'm here. Um, this shirt came from Five Below, by the way. Relax. I like the color. The ombre style of the colors. Yep. And I don't know where I get this hat from. Probably Discovery. So, I am going to sign off. I thank you all for viewing and watching. I know it was pretty long, but um, I'm excited. I'm always excited about new purchases. Women, we we shop for all type of reasons. And shopping is so therapeutic for me. But it, that's what makes me happy. You know, people do what they do to make them happy. They drink, they smoke, they whatever. They, they go traveling. I, I like to travel as well, but I also like to to buy what I like. And it doesn't have to be like the most expensive, the most extravagant. It, you know, it's whatever I want. And I work hard every day. I feel like I'm entitled to purchase, to, to make some, my bills are paid. I think that's the most important thing, right? And if this is what I want to do for me, then why not? I am 53 years old. Lord Jesus, I'm going to be 54 in June. I can't believe it. Oh, mm. but I'm thankful. I'm grateful for being here. And I'm new. I've had social media um, pages for a very long time because I am an artist. I'm an abstract artist. Um, and I also sell jewelry. So it's like I'm, I've had a couple of businesses on social media for quite a while. It's called one is called LJ Art Boxes, my jewelry um page on instagram and facebook and lj um jewel box is my jewelry website which well not a website but facebook page it's kind of inactive because i'm trying to close that business out but my art um page is definitely up and going i create one of a kind abstract pieces for people so with the bling, without the bling, with fluid pores, with um, with textures, sculptures, like a little sketching. I'm, you know, I kind of dibble and dabble in a lot of different things, and there's a lot more coming. I can create the marble effect on canvases, just like a lot. So, but thank you all for watching my video. Please stay tuned because there's plenty more coming. Love you all. Have a good one.